outside again. If I'm looking haggard, it's because I feel haggard. Welcome back to Geeky Girls Night In. I'm Leslie, together with Quinzel. We make geeky content. I just got back from vacation and I know that I look the complete opposite of refreshed because I am the complete opposite of refreshed. But here we are. Here we are. Um, I'm doing this outside because number one, <clears throat> Geeky Baby has been trapped in a car for two days and I don't know how many of my viewing people have kids, but um, you take a grade schooler who questions everything, but is also lazy because she can read, but wants you to read everything to her and you don't want to read everything to her and a fight ensues i'm exhausted and i go back to work tomorrow and i don't want to i need a vacation to recuperate from this damn vacation so um i'm actually here with a haul and surprisingly it's not fashion it's not beauty it's it's food it's food. So, um, I watch, watch a lot of Korean YouTubers and there's a particular genre that I watch. Um, let's see. So there is Kion who does mukbangs and like silly things with her husband, which they are absolutely hilarious and I adore. Uh, it's her username is G Dash and I. And then who else do I watch? I'm going through it now. I watch a little bit of Aaron and Claire and Knee Bomb. And I watch a little bit of Hamzy, but she mostly just she just eats quietly. Though I think she's starting like a new um, like a vlog channel. Um, <clears throat> I watch Roja, who um, just had a baby, and I just I adore her videos. They're so calming. At first, I thought she was really snooty, but like I don't think that's the case. I just think she is who she is. I watch Dion, D Y E. ONG and I'll put all the people that I watch in the in the show notes because there there's a lot of them and then there was a new a new girl um Hongshi Hongshi is my favorite because she's absolutely a nutcase um with her cooking she's just hilarious she doesn't say a word and she's funny um Annette Kim who is just she's like the sweetest person ever and who is the new girl? Like, I've talked to her before. Well, talked. Mm. Anyway, I'll find her and I'll put her in the show notes too. She's, she's, she seems fairly new. Like, she's got a, a small subscriber count too. But, basically, it's, the gist of it is, it's Korean women. And they only show from like their pants to maybe like like their midsection. That's all you see of them and their hands. And they cook. They cook different things. And like I watch a ton of those. I like watching the food they make and, and the things that they eat. They always seem very interesting. So um, yeah. So all of this culminated into... Uh, like I started making um, Don Jang Jige um, a lot and my husband would make fun of me because like I would eat it at least once a week it was really like I, I like it a lot and then he tried it and was like well can you make that soup that you make so like I, I make Don Jang Jige a lot and um, 
we don't in Indianapolis there is one Korean market and it's Secura Mart I think and I've tried going there a couple times but every time I look on um, Google it says their hours are like noon to three and I can't really sustain that I, I work a full-time job so I, I can't be out in the middle of the and then like during the weekends I I sleep in so and then I have to deal with geeky baby who needs a lot of attention as I have stated I have, I have aforementionedly stated um she's playing on her playset so um <clears throat> I was watching Mikey Chang Mikey Chan and he went to H Mart, and so like it was like this huge store, and so I started to look into it, and they have um, H Marts all over the place, except not in Indianapolis. Um, so there's some in Chicago, and like during my trip, we briefly drove through Atlanta, and there is one in the Duluth, Atlanta area, and so I got to stop. Now here's the catch. Um, it was a long ass trip. Um, we went from Indianapolis to Key Largo. We drove it. And so there wasn't a whole lot of time for me to stop and peruse. As a matter of fact, the day that I got to go to H Mart, um, like I got there right as it opened because we had to get on the road. And so I had to hurry. And I also could not buy perishables because we were going to be on the road for roughly 12 hours. All right, my hair is here. We're going to be on the road for 12 hours and I didn't have any kind of storage capacity for any perishable items. So those are the rules. Um, it had to be able to transport and kind of stay in a, um, a car for a little while while we vacationed and then come back home. So with that in mind, these are the things that I bought from H Mart. Uh, the first things first, and I didn't actually buy these for myself. I bought these for my husband. Um, he loves these Nissan Nissan Rao King of Ramen Ramen uh, Ramen Packs, and these I got him two of each flavor that they had. And like we've had these in the house and I'ma tell you, I don't like these. Like I don't I don't know if they taste good, but the smell of the tonkatsu one I think it is, is foul. But he loves them. So I love them. So that was the tonkatsu. This is the soy sauce flavor. And then this is the miso flavor. So in our neck of the woods, I think he could only find the tonkatsu flavor. So he was pretty excited to get those. And like I don't I bought these. I don't know corn and cream cheese. I mean it can't be bad, right? Like I like a good corn dip. I'm from Indiana, like my blood is like 72% corn, so I got those. I got so I got these like scrubby cloths for my back. I got two of those, and <laughs> as I told you, I make a lot of the doing jing so I got a big tub. What is this? This is 2.3 kilograms. I can't convert. Actually, yes, I can. Hold on. So yeah, this is five pounds of fermented so or yeah, green soybean paste. So I got that. Ugh. I got a big old jug of sesame oil. And a lot of the stuff you'll see is like instant stuff because like I said, I had to get things that um, weren't going to be perishable. So I'm 
I think I've decided that at, at some point I'm going to travel to Chicago with like a cooler and go to the H Mart there and get like non or get perishable. I got champong noodle soup, spicy seafood flavor. Oh, what's this? So Aaron and Claire, like they did a, a haul at their local Korean, uh, well they live in Korea, their local grocery store. And I think this was one of the things he said that I can't miss. I don't know, but it's instant coffee. You can't go wrong with that. Like I can stick that in my desk at work and, and drop it in. I got, to pull things over. I got two packages of bone broth. Or beef, yeah, beef bone broth. So, and there's a recipe on the back that I can use um, for like dumpling soup. I got dumplings, so, in the freezer, actually. So, that's something that I can do. I got, I just got this because it was cute. It was a little bunny cup. A little bunny butt. I can put rice or whatever in there. Or use it as a mise en place. Hold on, I gotta get up. Okay. So, I got some white sesame seeds and some black sesame seeds. And, like, I did a little research because I didn't know the difference. I just see them using them on the channels and this is just unhulled soybeans or unhulled sesame seeds excuse me um they don't have the hole off and they're supposed to be nuttier so hey team more flavor over here and i'm so mad i'm so mad um these are indomie almonds so they're covered in whatever indomie is um i have or I ordered the honey butter ones for these off of Amazon for the trip and basically devoured them. They were fire. I love them and I'm so mad that I didn't get every single goddamn flavor that they had on the shelf. But I was running out of time. It was like supermarket sweet in this bitch. So, there's that. I got some honey butter chips. is with French gourmet butter so fancy fancy so I got hotak um, mix and the instructions which are which I thought was very nice are in English they didn't have to do that I would have sorted it out my damn self um, for those of you that don't know I don't I speak a smattering of Korean but I don't do it in front of people because I sound like an absolute asshole. Um, I haven't seen my tutor in like two months. Hi, Jason. Sorry. Um, I just I haven't had time between work and everything. Um, but I can read it a little too. So, and what I can't read, I can like I have like five translation apps on my phone and on my computer. I can sort it out. Smart bunny. So I got the. Uh, original I guess it would be considered so I got the original and I was gonna get two of these but I was like because eh, they also had a green tea flavor so I went ahead and I got the green tea and there is a let's put this over here so um in one of my group chats I was absolutely baffled and um I would see them use this and like dump it in a cup and then um, pour seltzer water over it and call it whatever aid like um, this would be honey ginger tea aid stuff like that and like my friend explained it that's exactly what this is it's tea so I went ahead and got the honey ginger tea and the citron tea with honey um, and my battery is about to die so I need so there's another bag of almonds and these are the tiramisu ones and like the the instant snacky foods and things like that I'll be trying on Instagram so make sure you follow us there to see me do that I guess um 
another thing of ramen, K Army stew with chili beans. So that's interesting. At least I thought so. So I'll be trying that. So I bought a lot of tteokbokki. I'm not even gonna lie. So cheese, soup, and apparently it looks like it has fish cake in it as well. This is the noodle and the, the rice cake. And so this is the reason why I got so many. Um, I've had the pool dock um, fire tabuki and burnt the absolute shit out of my mouth. Now, take that with a grain of salt because my friend Lola, hi Lola, um, like I burnt my mouth and I was done and I sent those off the rest of them that I had purchased off to her and she loved them. So like my, my heat tolerance is not there. This is what I'm looking forward to the most. PB Gold spicy mushroom soup. So like, I'm not just going to pour this in and dump it. I'm actually going to make it somewhat like it looks on the um, thing. Like I'm going to buy the mushrooms from my local store. It looks really good. And if I like it, hopefully I can get it on Amazon or something. So, Gochujang, which I put in my soup. And you'll notice that it's a much smaller tub than the Donjang. So, um, I go through this much slower because, like I said, heat tolerance is nil. So I only use a little bit of it at a time. Unless I'm making, like, spicy pork belly or something like that. Then I use more, so. Um, so I bought these. They're, like, chocolate filled cookies. Um, people of a certain age will remember the Bozo show. Um, it was, I think it was on like, not, yeah, maybe it was public access television. It came on in the mornings while you were getting ready for school. And like, Bozo the Clown would pick people out of, kids, pick kids out of the audience. And they would compete in games and they could win and like, one of the things that you could win were delicious koala yummies. And they were like chocolate filled cookies. And like, I always wanted to go on there, but I didn't know anything about the show. Except for like, half the kids on it sucked at the games, which was always irritating. Anyway, so I got those because those are a memory. They're not koala yummies, but they're close. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, these are. <laughs> these are Kit Kat Mini Saskira, which is cherry blossoms. So, and there's not, like I'm pausing because there's instructions on the back. This isn't Korean, but like I couldn't turn down cherry blossom bloody uh, Kit Kats. I bought some plum ones, plum. And like, here's the deal. I hate white chocolate. I think it's the most disgusting thing on the planet. Well, not the most disgusting thing. Donald Trump's probably the most disgusting thing, but it's gross. And, but I bought the plum ones and they were really good. Like I didn't get the hint of white chocolate at all. I just got straight like mild plum flavor. So I'm hoping it's the same for those. And then as far as food goes, the final thing I bought was another cup of tteokbokki. So, that. So that's it for food. So I got. Then I got. Oh God. I got the baggie. So, and it came with the lid. And I know you can cook with this on your stove, like you can put it on your stove, but here's the deal. Like, um, I own Mang Cheese Cookbook, and she said that 
you need something special to cook with it on an electric flat top. I'm not 100% certain on that. If anybody knows, please leave a comment down below and let me know if I need something special before I set this so I don't scratch up the the um, the stove. Please don't want to scratch up the stove. And then I also got this um, thing that I can place it on after it's been cooking so I don't burn the shit out of myself. So, that. I'm really excited about that. I, I really wanted one, but um, they were all very expensive on um, Amazon and everywhere else I could find them. Mainly because of shipping, because it's so heavy. Like, I couldn't find a Prime option. And at the time, I wasn't an Amazon Prime member. Like, that just recently happened. And at the time that I'm filming this, it is Prime Day. Like, day two, I think, of Prime Day. And, um,. I didn't go crazy. I kind of wanted to buy a rice cooker, but um, when we did our kitchen remodel, it feels like we lost more space than we gained. Like more cabinet space. I don't know. So, um, like, I'm trying to cool it with the extraneous um, appliances. That's why I don't have an air fryer. That's why, I, like, I have an instant pot, but that's pretty much it. And I have a crock pot but like as far as extra appliances go i don't want to bring a whole lot in there because i don't want to clutter up the kitchen the kitchen's already just jesus okay big so um and then I'm trying to figure out how to do this i'm going to push you there oh the snacks are falling the snacks are falling and this i'm just put you back because the sun is bright and this is the final thing I got I just thought this was really pretty so teapot and here's the lid and on the inside you just dump your 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 tea in there your dried tea and then um, you pour hot water over it <clears throat> and then it's got this little handle and then little cups. So yeah, that, my dears, was my haul from H Mart. And when I start to to make stuff, I'll also film that. Like I filmed when I made the the radish kimchi. It'll be like that. Um, also, oh, one of the things that you'll notice is that. Um, one of the more obvious things that I did not get was, well, rice. And there's a reason for that. I have a shit ton of rice. A lot of rice. And, uh, I don't need no more rice. And if I would have come out of the store with a huge bag of rice, my husband would have probably had a heart attack. Because we have a lot of rice. And I do make it on the stove in a pot. And I know how to do that, which like kind of makes a rice cooker mute, moot, but I would really like one so I don't have to think about things. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of rice. I have all different kinds. I don't need any more right now. So maybe by the time I go to Chicago to go to H Mart, I'll need more. And unfortunately, I don't have any footage of me zooming through H Mart like a maniac. Um... I was flying like I was in and out in 30 minutes which bummed me out like I wanted time to to roll around but it just we didn't have time and um, I spent yeah I really want to know how much I spent I spent two hundred and eleven dollars on everything so, um, when I do, so, like, I will try the, like, um, the things that I don't have to cook. I'll try those on Instagram and, and give you my opinion on them and stuff like that. Um, the things that I have to cook, I'll film for the channel. Because, why not? The cat is staring at me. Alright, so that is the end of this, uh, 
brief haul. Um, if you like what you see, uh, comment, subscribe, say hello. Also, make sure to check out the Korean YouTubers I link down below. Their, their videos are funny, they're informative, um, and they make me hungry. So, and I see things that I wouldn't normally cook. Like, my favorite thing to watch is them fill, like, the little tofu pockets full of rice and then put stuff on top or mix stuff in the rice and put them in the tofu pockets. I think those are cool. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I will talk to you.